Hey guys, so we're going to do something a little different today, and if you guys like this, I would be willing to do it once a month um, if this is something that you enjoy. Um, so if you like this style of video, make sure you give it a thumbs up at the end um, so that I know that you like it, because I do look at how many thumbs up I get on different types of videos because you know that gives me an idea of what you like and what you don't like and I can never predict in advance I I can never anticipate what you guys are gonna like because it's very like all over the place when I look at those numbers but anyways uh, before we begin the video I just wanted to say that if you have been on the hunt for the decades body mist from Dollar Tree don't give up because I had to go to Dollar Tree yesterday to get some household items and while I was there of course I looked to see if they added anything in the beauty section and I was shocked to see that they had added the 80s one so now I have the 60s and the 80s so I still need the 70s and the 90s but um, the notes on the 80s one is mandarin honeysuckle gardenia and tonka bean so it's quite floral, which the 60s one is also quite floral. It's got rose and, well, the other notes on the 60s one are bergamot, amber, and patchouli, but the rose is quite prominent on the 60s, and I'm not really into floral scents, but I used to think that I was allergic to them all, but um, they don't make me sneeze. I, I wore this yesterday after I bought it and then I put it on again later in the day and it still did not make me sneeze or give me a headache so I don't know what's going on with that because floral things always used to bother me but so I don't hate it but I don't love it either um but I'll I'll use it once in a while it's it's fun to use different kinds of scents and expand your horizons but anyways, in today's video, you could probably tell by the title, once a month, I throw out anything that is expired. And as at the time of me filming this video, there are four days left in the month because I pre-film my videos because you never know what's going to happen in life. So I like to make sure that I'm a day or two ahead. Um, so if you're looking at the date, that this is posted and what I just said and it doesn't match up that's why because I pre film my videos so anyways um, once a month I go through my collection and I throw out things that are expired now how do I know they're expired I have a notebook every time I buy makeup I write it in the notebook so that I know what I have and I know the date that I bought it and then at the end of the month or the beginning of the next month I go looking at what the oldest things are and if they are cream gel or liquid they get tossed after one year and if they're powders they get tossed after two years and you might not do it that way but I do because that is what the industry standard is and um, some people just wait until it smells bad or looks bad or it changes texture or whatever. But I don't want to take any chances because the repercussions from using expired makeup can be devastating. I mean, the, I'm not going to go into it if you want to look that up. Look it up for yourself. But really, really bad things can happen to you because of using expired makeup. So I don't take any chances. So everything that I'm showing you is going to be tossed in four more days. And I just wanted to go through it all quickly and um, tell you which things I would repurchase and which things I did not like and definitely would not repurchase um, and which things were just okay. All right, so I'm going to show them to you in the order that I would apply them to my face. The first thing is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is a very nice primer, and as you can see, I did use most of it. Oh, and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to incorporate some of these things into my makeup routine over the course of the next four days. I, I did use a couple things today, um, but I'm going to 
anything that I'm not sure about, I'm going to use it again um, over the course of the next couple days to kind of remind me about, you know, whether I like it and would I want to repurchase it. But yeah, this is nice. I would definitely repurchase this again. Am I going to repurchase it right away? No. I have other primers already, so I don't feel the need to run out and repurchase this, but it's a good primer. And as you can see, I did use most of it. Okay, so for foundations, the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, I have this in the shade Fair 150C. I've, you can't see it, but I have used quite a bit of this, and um, it's still up at the point where you can't see it. But I'm always buying and trying foundations, so otherwise I probably would have finished this because I do really like this and do reach for it once in a while. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to use this um, for the next four days because I really like it and I feel bad that I'm, it's going to have to get tossed. They have a new formula of this out that's hydrating that I'm kind of curious about, but I have so many foundations right now that, that I probably won't pick it up. But I am a little curious about the hydrating one because I love things that are hydrating. But I didn't find this to be drying, so I'm not really sure why they felt the need to make it even more hydrating because it's not drying in the original form. Okay, this next thing is the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. This I would not repurchase. I did not like this at all. First of all, the applicator is very unhygienic. Uh, because it has to be dispensed through this sponge thing. I mean, if you were, if you wanted to, I guess there are other ways you could do it, but most people would use it because it's there. Uh, but this is, to me, kind of a waste. It it's, doesn't give you any coverage. Uh, the color match was not perfect for me. I bought the shade... Let's see, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 Fair Light Cool. Yeah, I didn't feel like this was a good color match, and yeah, it has no coverage, and it's not supposed to be a full coverage foundation, but it just, it, it, it gives you a little bit of a glow, but I'm starting to realize that I prefer products that I can just put it on and be done and not have to layer them, but I do seem to have a lot of things in my collection that need layering. But, um, I don't know. I w just wasn't crazy about the formula or the way that it looked after I applied it. Not, not impressed with this. I would not, definitely would not buy that again. Okay, this next thing is the Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick you get a contour on one side and a highlight on the other. I did not buy this in the right shade and I knew it at the time but I just didn't feel like going around to a bunch of other stores to try to get the right shade and for some reason I really really wanted to buy it that day so the product itself is very good, but I bought it in the shade medium slash tan, which is way too dark for me. And I said to myself, oh, I can make this work, and I actually can make it work. I used it in my makeup um, yesterday's video. I had it on. But it's a nice product. It's very easy to blend, and it's convenient having uh, contour and highlight in one tube so you don't have to go looking for something else um, but yeah this is this is a nice product but would I buy it again not right away because I have loads of contours and bronzers and highlighters in my collection but um, but yes I would recommend that it is a nice product okay the next thing is the elf halo globe contour beauty wand and I have it in the shade fair light when I first bought this, I was crazy about it. I used it every single day and did not want to use anything else for my contour. 
It's very, very nice. I would recommend this. I actually have a backup of this, not open, but I haven't um, needed to use it because I didn't end up using this up. But I really thought that I was going to go just go through this and need to buy it again. And at the time that I bought this, it was very hard to find. But since then, now it's not hard to find anymore. But it is very, very nice. I really, really like this, and I do recommend it. Elf Halo Glow Blush Beauty Wand in Rosé You Slay. This is very pretty. It's a very pretty blush. Um, I do recommend it, but I have other blushes that I like more. I did not buy a backup of this, which tells me that, um, you know, I liked it, but I didn't love it. But it is very pretty, and I would recommend it. Um, there, the thing with this is the color range kind of stinks on this. They don't have hardly any shades to choose from. So if they released more shades of this, I would be more likely to buy it again. But the current line of shades, there isn't that much to pick from. Okay, the next thing is the Hard Candy Selfie Blush. And this is a liquid, it's a clear liquid that goes, it goes on clear and then adjusts to your pH. I feel like those pH balance things are kind of gimmicky because even though it's supposed to adjust to your personal color, they still end up looking the same on everybody. So I think that's kind of a gimmick because you can see that the applicator is like a fuchsia pink. And that is actually a good color for me because I'm very cool tone. So fuchsia pink does usually look pretty good on me. But I don't think I would buy it again because, yeah, the pH balance things are, yeah, kind of gimmicky. But it is a pretty blush, and I did use it quite a bit, even though there, it looks like I hardly made a dent in it. It's just I have so much makeup that that's why I end up not using a lot of things. Okay, the next thing is the LA Colors Makeup Stick in Pink Satin. You guys know I love LA Colors. This I do not love. This is horrible. One of their absolute worst products. Do not buy this. The texture of it is awful. It's very hard to blend. Um, it does not look nice when applied. It's supposed to be a makeup stick that you can use as any way you want. You know, blush, eyeshadow, lips, whatever you want it to be. But I tried using this every way possible and probably the best way out of the three would be as blush but even then it doesn't look good doesn't apply good yeah don't buy this from Dollar Tree it's horrible okay next are the LA Colors cream gel blushes that were released a year ago I love 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 these I have admirable tainted love hypnotized mesmerizing I use these so much over the course of the last year that I'm really surprised that I didn't finish at least one or two of them. But I reached for Admirable Tainted Love and the most, I would say. But I also used Mesmerizing a lot. But um, the formula on these is awesome. Packaging, not so great because you have to be super careful when you take some out that you don't um, hold the container a certain way or squeeze it too hard or you you could end up losing all of it because it starts coming out and it won't stop so product itself is absolutely stunning gorgeous blends like a dream looks beautiful on your skin now they have just released these again in another collection which I've shown you repeatedly in my videos and I even give you tips about how you can make it not keep coming out of the tube when you um, try to get it out but these are awesome and I feel really bad that I'm gonna have to throw these out because uh, yeah admirable and tainted love especially I think are beautiful colors and I don't have anything exactly like this in my collection so I these will be missed for sure okay next are some 
cream eyeshadow sticks from Hard Candy, and I'm going to have to get rid of Bubbly Stoned and Pink Ink. Now, I did a whole video on eyeshadow sticks, and in that video I said that Hard Candy had one of the very best formulas, so these will definitely be missed. However, Stoned I have on right now as a base, and I used it in the way that I use eyeshadow sticks, which is to put it in the crease and outer part of my lid and then put other eyeshadows on top. Um, so this I will probably repurchase because this is such a great one to have for cool tone looks because it's gray and because it's matte. Matte eyeshadow sticks are far and few between and I don't know of any, com any other company that makes a gray one so that I probably will repurchase. The pink ink one is stunning. This one is a shimmer formula though, but this is beautiful. And I probably have another pink shimmer eyeshadow stick, so I probably won't repurchase that right away. And Bubbly is a gold, and this is also beautiful. So I definitely recommend that product. All right, let's talk about eyeliners. Let's start with the best. Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liner in Intense Charcoal. I love a gray eyeliner. I have not been using pencil or liquid eyeliners very much lately. I've been using uh, eyeshadows instead, and it's just, I don't know, a thing that I'm doing lately. I go through phases with the way I do my makeup. Um, but this is an excellent eyeliner. If you want an eyeliner that stays, that doesn't move around, that doesn't migrate, that's very easy to um, apply, that's pigmented, this is it. Maybelline makes a fantastic eyeliner and I love gray eyeliner. Okay, this next one, LA Colors Matte Liquid Liner. I only bought this because somebody that I watch on YouTube said that they loved it. I don't like this style of eyeliner and I just tried it because she was raving about it and I was like, oh, I'll give it a shot. It's one of the inkwell type eyeliners. I just don't feel like you have very much control with this if you're doing like a winged liner. I prefer more like um, like the pencil style felt tip eyeliners if I'm going to do a winged liner. So I would not recommend this because I just feel like it's too hard to work with. But the formula itself is very black and dark and pigmented. Oh, I skipped over eyeshadow primer. My e.l.f. Shadow Lock eyeshadow primer is, I don't really use eyeshadow primer anymore, so I probably won't repurchase it for that reason, but this is an excellent eyeshadow primer and it's very inexpensive. Um, but yeah, this works wonderful. I really like this. Okay, back to eyeliners. LA Colors auto eyeliner in teal, blue, and purple from Dollar Tree. LA Colors makes an excellent eyeliner, but these are not it. The ones from Dollar Tree, I don't know what it is, something about the formula on the ones that they release at Dollar Tree are not good. And I keep buying the new ones that come out hoping that I'm going to be pleasantly surprised and that they're going to be great, and but they never are. So I'm not going to miss these at all. If you want good L LA Colors eyeliners, get the ones from Walmart. Those are very, very good, and they're like a dollar and change more, but it's worth it to spend that extra dollar and change because the formula of the ones at Walmart are excellent. But yeah, these are not good. Not going to miss those. Okay, mascaras. Essence Lash Princess. I'm wearing this today, and... It's okay, but it's not the be-all, end-all mascara that a lot of people say it is. Um, it's To me, it's just an okay mascara. I, I, I used to love this at one time, and I don't anymore because I've tried so many mascaras over the years that I realize now that there are better ones out there. But um, it's, it's okay. It's good, but not, not great. There's, it's, I'm just trying to show you my, my lashes today because I do have it on. 
so it's okay. Maybelline Sky High. I've been wearing this in my last few videos, and this is a very good mascara and worth the money. Um, I really like this mascara, and it's a good one. It does everything you want it to do, and then some. And then um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, this is his mascara formula in brown. I'm going to show you the name because I, I don't want to say it because I don't want this video to get demonetized or anything because I don't think you're supposed to swear in videos. Even though people do, they're not supposed to. Um, so that's the name of that mascara. I got this in a mystery box. I would never buy a brown mascara on purpose because to me, I don't know, it just doesn't look good. I don't like the way brown mascara looks. Um, the formula was okay, but yeah, it's brown. So I used it once to try it and then have never reached for it again. That's the thing with buying mystery boxes is you're going to end up with some products that um, you're not going to like. But I still think it's worth it to buy mystery boxes because it breaks you out of your comfort zone and then you get things that you wouldn't normally pick out and sometimes you buy things and you're like wow I would never have bought this on purpose but yet I really like it because some of the liquid lipsticks that I got in that box apply there you know like I really like them but they aren't things that I would uh, normally pick out okay let's talk about brow products if you watch my videos, then you know I do my brows the same way every single day and uh, don't really experiment anymore with brow products. However, um, so I have the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Soft Brown. Uh, this was good, but I would say this was good but not great. I wouldn't I wouldn't repurchase it. I'm really fussy about brow products. And then there is the the Elf Instant Lift Brow Pencil and I have it in the shade Taupe. To me this is too thick. I don't feel like you can get any natural looking brow hairs um, using this. And I think they just released this in new colors, but yeah, I don't I don't like this. It's not thin enough. However, e.l.f. does make an ultra precise brow pencil that is thin enough. And I don't feel like this I feel like this is not pigmented enough. When you go to apply it, you have to keep going over and over and over the same area. So I wouldn't repurchase it for that reason. The NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen, and I have this in Ash Brown. When I bought this, I flipped out. I loved it. The thing I don't like about this is you, you go through these really fast and you're using a lot of products and the NYX is not cheap. If you know, you know, um, NYX is one of the more expensive drugstore brands, but it is an excellent product and I love the way my brows look when I use this, but I don't think I would repurchase it because uh, I really like the brow routine that I have now. All right, and next is lip products. Let's start with lip oil. Uh, this is the LA Colors lip oil, and this one is in mint. This is a very, very strong mint scent. Um, the lip oil formula is good, but I think a lot of people would be put off by how strong of a mint this is. So you would have to, if you love mint, then you might love this, but um, the formula is good. So I would buy L.A. Colors um, lip oil again, but probably not this scent. 
Um, okay, so let's stick with the LA colors for now. This is their cream lipstick in Admirable. This is like a plum shade, and it is a very unique shade to my collection. I wore it in a video recently just because I knew we were getting down to the end of the month and I wanted to use it again. Uh, but this is a very nice formula. Unique color. Um, I like it, but I have other plum lipsticks, so I won't need to repurchase it. But if you want one that's inexpensive, they sell this at Family Dollar and Dollar General is where you can get this particular lipstick. So it's nice. Okay, my LA Colors Lip Duo in Vibe. I am going to miss this. Um, it's a purple lipstick. Awesome formula. And then you get this bubblegum pink gloss to put over it. And the combination together is really pretty. Um, I don't always see these at Dollar Tree. This is, that's where I got it, Dollar Tree. Um, and it seems to me that this color in particular is very hard to find. And I don't even know if they still carry this color at Dollar Tree, but I really like this. They sell these at shopmissa.com and I have also seen them at Family Dollar and Dollar General. So... If you're curious about this one, you may have to hunt for it. it. It's really hard to find vibe in particular for some reason, but yeah, I'm going to miss this. Um, I don't feel like a lot of companies make purple lipsticks, and I really like the fuchsia pink gloss over the purple lipstick, so I am going to miss that. Really, really like it. Okay, LA Colors Jelly Bombs in Watermelon cherry and strawberry. I actually have an LA Colors Jelly Bomb on right now, but it's one of the new ones that just got released in one of their limited edition collections. So these came out a year ago and they are very, very nice. Um, what these are good for is not giving you a lot of color on your lips, but they smell really nice. They feel very nice. And if you just want something to throw in your purse to keep reapplying throughout the day, they're great for that. So I will miss these because I especially like that bubblegum pink one. Okay, this next one is, um, it's an LA Colors lipstick in the shade Victory. I got, I picked this up one day at Dollar Tree because I really wanted a red lipstick. I didn't have one in this particular shade of red, believe it or not. And um, I did not like this formula at all. So the, the lipsticks by LA Colors in the gold packaging from Dollar Tree, don't get them. The formula, the formula is just not good. It doesn't apply nice and nah, pass on it. Um, Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in number four, Luminoso. This is really nice, you guys. This goes on beautiful. It looks gorgeous on your lips. I got this at Target. And after I bought this and started using it, I said, ooh, I need to get these in more colors. And to my credit, I did not go out and buy a ton of them because I, I have a habit of doing that. If I really like something, it's like, oh, I'm going to get all of them. No, I I don't want to do that anymore. I, I did that with the... Um, Maybelline Green Edition lipsticks from Dollar Tree recently. I bought every one that I could, but I really need to stop doing that. And this is exactly why, because of what I just showed you, because I can, you can only use so much makeup. But if I think I'm going to be using it a lot in my videos or on an everyday basis, then sometimes I do do that, but I really shouldn't because all this stuff is going to get tossed out and not used up. But you know, keep in mind, I am not a regular person. I'm somebody that makes YouTube makeup videos every single day. So I do need to buy a certain amount of things to make videos with and talk about and show you. But I don't need to buy this much. But um, yeah, my point is, this is really, really nice. And I had to 
reel it in and restrain myself from going and buying all the colors of these. So I highly, highly recommend this product if you've ever been curious about it. It's a really nice one. And it isn't one of those painful lip plumpers. You know what I mean. So that is it, you guys. That is all the stuff that is getting tossed in four days. And I am going to put this like in a basket or something, and I'm going to uh, use these things again. Not every single thing, obviously, but I'm going to, you'll, you'll see some of them pop up in the description box in my videos over the course of the next four days, because uh, I want to revisit some of these things again, things that I'm really going to miss that I loved. So thanks for watching and subscribing. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, maybe I'll do another one next month showing you what's going to get tossed. Bye.